It is Bola Day. Well, not yet. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Bola Day. Hi, Veda. Hello. How are you? Tired. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you for driving me to the airport at 6 a.m. Do you think I can win this or not? Bola? Yeah. I mean, only, uh, I think you got a chance. I got a chance. You got some hype? I got some hype. That's You've true. You've wrestled Bandito before. I've wrestled Bandito before. I've beaten Bandito before, but Fair. that's only the first round. If I beat Bandito, could be anyone. I mean, you have as much of a chance as most people. I've got as much of a... <laughs> I've got 116... I don't think that's true. There's a, there's a couple in the lineup who aren't going to win. No, that's true. But that's objectively true. You got a, you got a chance. You got a more solid chance than some. Not naming names, but... Okay. Seven. Seven. You have a seven chance. Seven chance! I just did it. Let's do it! It is... Friday night, I am sitting in my hotel room. I was originally supposed to come to LA on Saturday afternoon. My flight was Saturday afternoon, but I had it changed to Friday because Veda warned me that there would be a big snowstorm and they said that I should change my flight. And so I did, and lucky I did because Veda just looked it up and the flights flying out of the airport I was supposed to come out of are all canceled tomorrow. <laughs> Every single one of them. So it wasn't, if it wasn't for Veda, uh, I would not be here. I would have missed out on my big PWG return. I would not be at Bola. Thank you. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to get some rest because tomorrow is the first round of Bola. I have a big match, a big rematch against Bandito. And I need to be well rested for that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is Saturday morning. I am walking back to my hotel after having some Denny's for breakfast, which was okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. It's a big day. It's my first time at PWG in, uh, God, six years. My last time, I believe, was January of 20... 16, I think, and it's a big one, you know? PWG, while I didn't have a ton of matches there, and I only re really wrestled there for like, I'm not sure, a year and a half at most, it still had a big impact on my career and led to a lot of opportunities. And it still bugs me to this day when people are like, Oh, you're Speedball Mike Bailey. I know you from PWG. You're... I remember your match with Kenny Omega and Roderick Strong. Because... Those matches... Feel like forever ago to me now. And I've had... So many... Better matches since. I mean, I've, I've gotten... A lot better in that time. And, you know... So have my opponents. That's, so that's why today is such a big deal to me, or at least part of the reason. Because I get to show just how much I've gotten better in the last six years. And I get to show that, yes, I was capable of having good matches six years ago, but I am so much better now. And I just hope that people have the same reaction that I do after this weekend when they watch Speedball Mike Bailey matches from 2015 and go, ugh, yeah, those were fun, but this guy is absolutely nothing compared to what he is now. I have made it to what I believe is the venue. It's either that or some sort of weird escape room, but honestly, I'm not too sure what's happening. Um, it looks nice. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm getting around, meeting up with some new friends, and here is Jack Cartwheel. Where are we? I don't know, Where honestly. It's a, this is way too weird. There's a lot of mirrors around. Dude, dude, dude. So you've been here before, I think yes? we're in the Matrix. 
You've been in the Matrix before. Yes. We've, we've been in the Matrix the okay. whole time. No. Which uh, <laughs> is in LA, I believe. Yes. The Matrix is in Los Angeles. Yes. Um, is this your first bola? This is my first bola. This yes. is not your first pro wrestling gorilla show. No, no, number four. Number four. Yes, sir. How did one, two, and three go? Amazing, great, great. And uh, just gotta keep on going, just keep on grinding, keep on doing our thing. Hopefully cartwheeling uh, all the way to the top. Who do you have in the first round today? Leo Muffaka Rush. Have you wrestled him before? I have not, I have not. I've seen him wrestle a lot though, so uh, a lot. Take, took my notes. Uh, you know, I'll be ready for ready for all his moves and stuff. Be ducking, moving. He'll be moving real quick. But he does the up. thing where he runs like the mm. the center of he different does. ropes. So you've got to watch go up, up that. and then turn and then turn again. Mm. Yeah. But um, I just might I'll, I'll cartwheel. I'll be ready for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good strategy. I might not be as fast as speedball, but but you know we'll get a little quickness with the quickness. You know, love it, love it, love it. Let's, Let's do it. Go. You look like you just hit your head in a cartoon I and did. the bandage suddenly appeared. It's like I'm in a uh, Popeye's cartoon. It's pretty cool yeah, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, hey. Chicks dig it, right? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe no. you can rock an eye patch for the next few weeks. I think I'll have to. Nice. Yeah, badass. Hell yeah. <laughs> I am getting ready to go. Uh, I'm very nervous because this could be a really, really good freaking match against Bandito once again. I'm also very nervous for my entrance, which is unusual. There is a good chance that they'll be very happy to see me back in PWG for the first time in over six years. But there's also a good chance they won't know who I am at all, in which case that will make things very difficult. But I think I can get them on my side nonetheless. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's go. It's filming. Let's go. You're on. I'm on? Yeah. yeah. No way. Well, yeah. No way. You're going to have <laughs> yeah. to flip it around, though. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>
fuck. That was intense. Kevin. It was very intense. It was very intense. My mouth was dry. I scared myself a few times. Holy hell. Oh my god. That was a lot. Ah. Now I gotta go again tomorrow. Up to three times. I mean, I'm chilling. <laughs> my friend. You're a fucking king. You're a fucking king, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My friend, you might be the best wrestler in the world right now. So please, I hope we do this again. No, you are the best wrestler in the world. Me, for me, I just listen. She is amazing. Thank you for everything. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sell some shirts. Thank you. My friend, so oh. nice. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. a big fan of you, Speedball. Needs a lot. Say that one more time. I just want to say it's my first time here at Ebola, and he's one of the reasons why I'm here. And he's incredible, he's amazing, and definitely worth the price of admission just to see the I'm so glad I have that opportunity. There's proof. I'm taking testimonials now. Thank you very much, my friend. You are amazing. Thank you. 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 Sunday morning. I'm sore. I'm tired. That was a big match yesterday, and I am definitely feeling it today. I have I have up to three matches today if I'm going to win the Battle of Los Angeles. Last time in 2015 when I made it to the finals, I remember after the match how me, Chris Hero, and Zack Sabre Jr. all looked at each other and said basically, man, this feels like we've been in a car accident. All three of us were so sore and so tired from an incredibly rough day. So yeah, I'm in for a long one if I do make it to the finals. Um, but for now, I get to go have breakfast. What's up, baby? We in LA, we battling. Well, you're battling. I'm just battling traffic. I'm battling, you're babbling. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> God damn. Damn! Whoa! Yeah. What a what a old school Mouth of the South promo you got. I got I got one. I got I got a pretty good one. Oh, I yeah. can Mouth of the South it up. We had we had TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays in Inglewood, Los Angeles. What a Shout fucking out. What a fucking <laughs> They really hooked us the, up. The rich they get richer. Us like kings. Turtle soup again. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had something nice for breakfast, but TGI Fridays was nice. Nah, it was honestly like people were cool. Yeah, yeah fun. people were people were cool. The, <laughs> the server wasn't rude. Yeah, the the much better than Denny's. Just, much better than Denny's. Fuck I'm Denny's. so sick of Denny's. <laughs> Denny's K. <laughs> Fuck you, Denny's. Unless you want to sponsor me, which is impossible. This segment brought to you by Denny's. <laughs> Get a grand slam. I wish I had sponsored. You want to sponsor my vlog? No, I'm just broken up. This vlog is sponsored by Royce Isaacs. I don't know if you want to plug like a product or anything. You're just I am the product. Whoa. See that fucking upper chest definition? See that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, they ain't feeling me. Okay. Nice Pull the sponsor out. Hey, dude, it was good. Hey, it was really good to fucking see you. It's been way too long. It's been fucking years, man. Since uh, 2017? 17. End of, end of 2017. It was right before I moved to LA. Um, we were in fucking Japan getting, yeah. we were getting ramen adventures. Ramen adventures. Uh, fucking, uh, was it like Butanico, the one that was like, uh, pork where it was all you can eat, where we, uh, fucking... Oh, I completely forgot we I had, ever went there. Dude, all we had to you sit down on a ramen. bench. We had to sit down on a bench because I was like a pigeon that ate rice where my fucking stomach expanded so much. It hurt to move. All you can eat ramen. All you can eat pork ramen. It was so good. With the topping bar. Yeah, and he, all he, he only asked you, do you want it like firm or like soft noodle, basically. And you would just, you had 30 minutes to eat as much as you could. I had five fucking bowls. <laughs> so... That's not really how, that's how we interpreted it. 30 minutes to eat. It's more like just 30 minutes to eat. Yeah. But we took it as 30 minutes to eat as much as you can. Yeah. Like we're getting 
Five bowls. <laughs> Five bowls, baby. That was... I was in so much oh. pain, but it was so worth it. It was, like, delicious. So worth Some it. Some of the best ramen I've ever had in my life. Right. Hopefully oh, yeah. we can go back sometime. Yeah, let's do that. And have some... Do that. Uh, let's do it! Point our finger guns, have some ramen. It seems I am the first person here today. I got in and it's empty. It's just me and my Echo. Which is perfect because that means I get to do one of my favorite things in the world. Which is sit in a ring and think. Well, they do, um, but I would just like some some vlog photos. Hello. Yeah, what's going on? So I'd like to. All right. All right. But I can't. No, no, I'm, just, I'm good here. Just hello. Oh, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. while there's good lighting and uh, I've got a nice little little background behind me uh, I'm gonna be going in a minute I'm not gonna have much time to vlog in between my matches though I will try because today is going to be a lot by the time this comes out it's already gonna have happened so I'm not gonna say that anything that happens because I would spoil what's coming up next, but also, it would be uh, pretty lame to say what happens now and then have something mess up. For example, someone getting hurt today, which is very likely to be me, and plans change. So, let's see how it goes. Friends, I am nervous in this kind of situation. I know that the only thing I can do is just stand in front of it and let it hit me. So let's do it. Dang way. Did you just win your match? I did. I did. How was it? It was fun. Alex Shelley is one of the best wrestlers of all time, so I had a great time. It's always a good learning experience being in there with him there. Every single time. I hope the, the camera isn't as actually close as it feels to my face. It is. Because it feels like it's really up, up there. It's way up there. So tired. Me too. So very tired. You gotta wrestle twice more. Oh my god! Oh, I lost. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you, man. Thanks so much. Had a blast. Ah! 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 Do my 
fine. Do you want to just start? I mean, I can start filming once we're up there. Do you want to? No, that's fine. Just I, keep I going. Okay, you like the raw stuff? Okay, cool. Just making sure. All right. Got to get an external hard drive, speedball. Yeah, that's perfect. Where's Daniel? Oh, okay. Thank you. No, thank you. It was a great night. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Hold on. My friend, I meant everything. You were one of the best. And like, how old are you? Oh, 23. That's it. You got fucking with 30 more years of wrestling. Oh, uh, we'll see about that. Maybe Pat, 30. So here's my advice to you. Yes, sir. You're a great professional wrestler, like amazing, absolutely world class, and you're only gonna get better working with the guys with whom you work, excluding me. I'm not counting myself. I'm talking about guys like you know. Um, learn teaching as an art form. Like you can be the best professional wrestler in the world, not a great teaching. Uh, I'm not saying you're a bad teacher because I've never seen you teach. Yeah. But 
you are going to accumulate so much knowledge because of the talent that you have. Learn to pass that on, please. Share that with everyone. So, I hope that makes sense. It does. It doesn't come off as condescending, because I know I often do. But, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My friend. Absolute honor. That was wonderful. That was wonderful.